Anandpur in the Punjab and the scene today of extraordinary events. Sikhs have come here from far and wide to celebrate the harvest festival of Baisakhi. There has been particular interest this year as Guru Gobind Rai, the Sikh leader, asked people to make a special effort to come. All very intriguing. In front of the castle, a tent had been put up on a specially built stage and tens of thousands of Sikhs gathered in expectations of the Guru's arrival, no doubt hoping that he would have some words of inspiration for them in these troubled times when so many have faced persecution for their faith. Then the crowd was on its feet, cheering and waving as the Guru walked out and took centre stage. He made an impressive sight, waving a sword above his head that flashed in the sunlight. He waited for the crowd to fall silent and then said, Who among you is willing to die for God and for their Guru? Who will give their head to my sword? Certainly an unusual way to start a speech, and there was some confusion in the crowd. But then a man got to his feet and made his way to the stage. This was Daya Ram, a young man from a well-to-do family. The guru welcomed him like a brother and took him into the tent. People were muttering to each other, wondering what was going on. Then the guru emerged alone from the tent and waved the bloodied blade above his head. Shock ran through the crowd like a wave. Had the guru beheaded Daya Ram? But the guru was speaking again. Who else is willing to give their life for God and for me? This time, everyone remained absolutely still, frightened even to move. But finally, another man stood up and walked calmly to the front, a farmer called Dharam Das. Again, the volunteer was welcomed by the guru and led inside the tent. I, like everyone else in the crowd, held my breath. This time we distinctly heard the swish of a sword and a sickening thud. The guru came out and brandished his sword for all to see, and fresh blood splattered over the crowd. A woman near to me screamed, and panic began to spread. But above the noise, I heard Guru Gobind Rai's words. My sword is still hungry. Who else is willing to give their head to serve me? Unbelievably, three more men pushed their way to the front. A tailor called Mokham Chand, a barber called Sahib Chand, and a humble water carrier called Himat Rai. Some of the crowd were crying, some were angry, some even tried to stop the men from reaching the stage. But one at a time, the Guru took them into the tent, and each time he came out alone, his sword sticky with congealing blood. The Guru appealed for calm and threw back the flaps of the tent. We stood spellbound as all five men, alive and well, walked out onto the stage. They were wearing saffron robes like the Guru and smiling. Then the crowd was cheering and clapping, and the men stepped forward to acknowledge the applause. Five men from very different backgrounds standing shoulder to shoulder with the Guru. Five men who were willing to stand up for what they believed. And the Guru announced that they would be known as the Panj Piare, the beloved five. The first members of the Khalsa, the pure ones, a group of Sikhs who are truly committed to the Guru. They will be given new names, Singh, that means lion, for men, and core, meaning princess for women. So goodbye Guru Gobind Rai. From today, we'll be calling you Guru Gobind Singh. The people surged forward, all wanting to join the Khalsa. I suspect there are some in the Emperor's court who will not be pleased. This is Abu Tarani reporting for the Emperor Aurangzeb, Anandpur.